are inside the bathroom. That's efficient. Checkerboard. You want to look through faux facts? Uh, hell yeah. Faux facts by Angel. I'm artist, scary, number one predator. Kel, stupid, smelly, stinky, poop. Ew. <laughs> I love the, the bleed through on the pages. Oh my goodness, the little details like that. Knife, quiet. Mystery. Oh, is that supposed to be a Mori? Thank you for reading. Uh, you're welcome. Anytime. I will read through your secret books anytime. <gasps> doggo, pupper doggo. Oh, ooh, good dog. Arf, arf. Wait, I can't pet this dog. Lucas, there's slobber all over. <gasps> pet. Pet the dog. Bark, bark, bark. Dog seems content. Pet the dog. Oh shit, we're gonna be here for a little bit. Pet the dog, pet the dog, pet the dog, pet the dog, pet the dog. Only three more pets. Two more pets. One more pet. Okay, that was worth it. Alright, let's go and just do some stuff around town. We've already gone and poked around everywhere. I wonder if Hero would go back to Mary's grave. Let's go try that. Because now that we have everybody together... Well, mostly everybody. Basil is having a real hard time at the moment. <clears throat> Wait, what's going on here? There's no response. Okay. Seems like some kind of party. Wait, is this the way that we're supposed to go? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's see what happens. I don't know if we're going to be able to go back there, but... Mincy, it's diligently sketching away. Alright. I'm afraid we won't be holding a sermon today, but feel free to use this place to collect your thoughts. Everyone is welcome here. Alrighty. Can we go back here? <gasps> we can. Oh shit, we can go back here. Headstone. Here we go. About to get some more feels right here. Spirits have been howling all day. I pray for this neighborhood. Someone will be grieving tonight. Ooh, okay. This is the one. Our dearest Mary. The sun shined brighter when she was here. This grave could use some flowers. Do you want to leave flowers at the grave? Don't have any flowers. All right, new goal, new task. Got to get some flowers. Time to go get some flowers. Got to go buy some flowers from the flowers, people. That is the new goal for us. That is the job. That's what we got to do. Ba -ba -ba. That church is like ominous. I mean, churches are pretty ominous to me, but uh, that one is specifically ominous. Anybody uh, gonna check on Aubrey's mom? Make sure she's like, you know, alive? <gasps> Wait, is that me wow? Wait, is that me wow? Shit guys, that looked like me wow. Is that me wow? Okay, well I'm not calling it a day yet. Okay. Mm, Alright, so there's gonna be a cat maybe around here. But flowers first. Flowers before we worry about that. Because that feels like a way that we progress the day or something. One option was going to Kel's house, but... Let's go buy some flowers. <clears throat> This way into fix it. But still, this building here is way larger <clears throat> on the inside than the outside. Kind of off-putting. Uh, oh wait, right, overthinking it. Overthinking it. Gotta go to the guy up front. Guy up front! Yo! Hey! Welcome to Fix It, where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. What can I interest you in? The only thing you sell is flowers. 
Uh, I've got a little bit of money. I'll buy two. How's this? Three will be four dollars. Awesome. Get that picked up for you right away. Alright. Big moment time. Also, we saw a cat, so let me just go and proactively buy a fish. Because we might be chasing after me well. Hello, yummy fish. Yes, please give me a fish. Very expensive. But I guess we're probably not a coastal town. So that would explain the expense. Okay, now we gotta go put flowers on Mary's grave. So this is uh, Wiz's last day with his friends. Is there gonna be another dream sequence? Feels like there might be another dream sequence. Uh, all the way down. Man, I, you know, I'm really enjoying this, but I will say every time I feel like I'm getting close to the end of this game, it just like, there's so much more. Not like that's a bad thing, but wait, is that a dollar? Hey, you found a dollar, it's your lucky day. Hey, nice. But like, there's just, it's just so deep. It's just way deeper. Like the, the, the deepness of these RPG, like, uh, I don't know if this is RPG maker, but RPG games like this is just blows my mind sometimes. Our dearest Mary, the sun shined brighter when she was here. The grave could use some flowers. Would you want to leave flowers at the grave? Yes. When she was here, achievement unlocked. Hey Mary, it's me again. Wiz, Kel, and Hero are here with me this time. Do you visit Mary's grave a lot, Aubrey? Yeah, I try to, although some days it's a little hard. You guys visit sometimes too, don't you? Every now and then. But maybe I should have visited more often. Hey, Hero, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm glad we're all here to see her. Hey, Mary. I'm sorry I haven't visited you yet. I was being selfish, I think. It's been so long, but I still miss you now more than ever. I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm just really sorry. Uh-oh. Hero, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. It's not the time for Gannett getting in my face. Yeah, we're here for you if you, if you ever need us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Don't worry about me too much, okay? Here, this is for you, Mary. From all of us. Do you want to have a picnic with Mary? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Oh. I'm just gonna let this play for a minute. Okay. Lily of the Valley. They are said to be able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. Well, that was very nice. I actually got me tearing up just a little bit. Don't say that. <clears throat> Don't say someone will be grieving tonight. Oh wait, maybe that means Basil, because his uh, grandma is going to pass away or something. Which is horrible, but also... It's better than the alternative, which would be like you know, Basil or Aubrey or someone doing something unthinkable. Clearly not unthinkable in this game, but, you know, something that would be best to not dwell on, I guess is a way to put it. <clears throat> okay, so we put flowers on the grave. I think now let's look for the cat. Let's look for Meanwhile, Or maybe that was like a memory. But we could go hang out at Kel's house, I think. Isn't that where they said that we could hang out? Maybe not. Maybe we gotta go to Treehouse. Let's go to Treehouse and see that it's no longer there, maybe. Slap down another save. 
Oh my god, 26 hours. Holy shit. Looks like the sun is about to set. <clears throat> Do you want to go see the treehouse with now, Wiz? I feel like I've done just about everything I want to do. We visited Mary, we checked for the cat, we haven't found it. Uh, we talked to everybody, we got the barbecue. Uh, yeah. Let's go see the treehouse. Well, let's go see the fact that it isn't there anymore. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Aubrey's never been in here, right? That's right. Or hasn't been in here since way back in the day. Wow, I guess you really are moving away, huh, Wiz? When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. Hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years, and painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we're still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here, so that we can face this together. It's okay, hero. I'll go first. <clears throat> Did she die in the treehouse accident? Maybe? Is that what happened? Hey, Wiz, when you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... Aubrey! Wiz! Are you guys coming? Actually, never mind. It's nothing. Wait! What is it? Tell me! What's she gonna say? Like, keep in touch? Because Aubrey's got a thing for Amori, doesn't she? At least in his, in his mind. I don't know if real life Aubrey has a thing. Oh, we're out here now. <clears throat> there it is. Oh, but there's, like, a further entrance. This is where Mary... So she died because of the treehouse. <gasps> That's why everybody blames themselves, because they all built it! <gasps> oh, okay. I understand now. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Feels like forever ago, but I can still remember that day perfectly. That, that day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with Mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day, too. I went out to get a haircut with Dad. Oh, yeah. You were there with your dad, too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mary and Wiz's musical recital. Damn, that's heavy. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening... Even after all this time, I still don't understand why she would do it. No! Oh, I was fucking forgot she... Oh, right. They came... Oh. Oh, no. She did it from that treehouse, and that's why they cut it down, because it was awful memories. Oh, no. I don't think any of us ever will. <clears throat> hey, guys. Let's... Let's keep going. Wait. Oh. Okay. I've been wrong this whole time. <clears throat> that was just a tree in their backyard. The treehouse is further beyond. Okay. Still horrible, but... Hmm. Sometimes you just don't know what's going on inside somebody's head. Hmm. Wow, this place has seen better days. But it looks like everything is right where we left it. All our old stuff is still here. Hey look, here's our playing cards. I was the I was the best at playing cards, wasn't I, guys? Mr. Plant Egg! Oh, you're so dirty. Look at all these old books. This is where all my cookbooks went. Ah! I think I just stepped on a jack! 
Oh man, such good times. Hmm. Why did we have a toaster in here? <gasps> the missing picture. Hmm. Uh, I guess this is a good time as any. I mean, I just wanted to say, playing through the series, I know it touches on some difficult things. Um, and I'm not really one to talk about this stuff. I have, I've dealt with this kind of stuff in my life before, and all I just wanted to say and put out there into the world while I'm, you know, doing a series on this is, you know, if you're feeling anything like that, if you're down or, you know, feeling unsure about things, uh, just, just know that there's always help. You know, there's, there's helplines out there, there's friends and family, you know, even if you don't think people will understand, even if you don't think that they will want to help you, you know, just, just talk to somebody. Find a way to talk to somebody, because there's help out there. But, yeah, I don't want this to get too deep or too depressing, I mean, besides the game itself. Uh, so we'll just move on, but just don't forget everybody. There's there's help out there. You can it's always there somewhere Just you know Take care of yourselves All right, uh, moving swiftly along an old TV Kel brought it up here, but was pretty bummed when he found out he couldn't use it Man, I was the best at card games. So we still on that Heroes cookbooks Mary bought them for his birthday Kel's old shoes. He forgot his stuff at your house frequently. Sounds about right. Plants made from paper. Aubrey and Basil made these together. Aww. A baseball bat. Mary used to play softball, but she quit when she injured her knee. <clears throat> Mr. Plant Egg is so dirty. There. Good as new. I remember now. Kel brought this toaster in here. He said he wanted me to cook with it. Kel was such a weird kid. <laughs> Calendar. The date of the recital has passed. Mm. Oh wow. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. <laughs> what? Is it like the missing missing picture? You put the toy box key in your pocket. Oh, I'm not gonna tell anybody about that? Hey, look! Wiz found a photo of us! We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? There was actually two. That must be it. <clears throat> You're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Wiz. We should add it in. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. What toy box? See, there's... Wait. Oh, no, that's not a missing picture. That's just a, a small writing. So there is only one missing. There it is. Basil's memories. It's complete. There. Now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time we'll all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, hero. The photo album is already out, so we might as well, right, Wiz? Let's start from the beginning. <coughs> Are they all going to have different things to say about them? No. Okay, then I'm just going to go view the extra one because we've already looked through this. But it's giving us one last chance to see it all. One last, last, last chance. Ta-da! All summer we've been working on a treehouse in Wiz's backyard, and today it's finally finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. <clears throat> Ain't that just nice? Are you done looking at the photo album? Yes, I am. Oh, Mary. I miss her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on, guys. Why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mary would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. If only Basil could be here, too. <clears throat> huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? 
And there she goes. And there they all go. And there I go. Where's the toy box? Have I seen a toy box somewhere? I don't remember. You know, after everyone drifted apart, was that the pinwheel that she had on her? I guess it was. Oh, I didn't give that to her. She had that with her from the start. Okay. Sorry. Thinking about things. After everyone drifted apart, <clears throat> I felt so alone. But now I realize that I was the one pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mary died, everything changed so fast. Wiz and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports. And Hero always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me, and abandoned Mary too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Wiz stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. <clears throat> the walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old, old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all the photographs with a marker. I couldn't believe it. He even blacked out Mary's face. All of our memories together. It felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry, I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album, started calling him Creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. Yep, I, I know how that goes. I've been on the receiving end of one of those. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. Done that too. It's kind of funny, what I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one who was angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Oh, I'm already backing away. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse, so I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Wiz. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel, but I'm the oldest, so I should have known to take care of everyone. <clears throat> well, you know, I'm just gonna have to put a bit of a stop in here real quick. You should never blame yourself for something like this, because, you know, this is, ain't, ain't nobody's fault. You know, you got, all gotta deal with it in your own ways, so. You guys are fine. We're all good. I mean, it's a horrible thing. You know, you can't ever be expected. There's no way to know how to deal with it. You just gotta deal with it. I just... No, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I just... I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Oh yeah, count me in. Oh, uh, wait just a second. Ready or not, here we come. Okay, he's pushing Amori in. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, the feels. The feels. Wiz is just like, what the hell's going on here? We should go see if Basil is back home later today. I need to apologize to him. And 
I think right now, he's probably the one that needs us the most. I think you're right, Aubrey. The feels, guys! The feels! Oof. It's the feels. The feels are setting in. We gotta go get some hamburgers, though. Oh my goodness. It's all coming together. It's like the... It's like the meme from Emperor's New Groove. It's all coming together. Oh, hey, old lady! That was a memory? Interesting. But yeah, I gotta go get the hamburgers. We went through all that trouble to go talk to the meat man. is gone. Reporter. I work at the news station in, in, oh. I work at the news station in the city, but sometimes I drive to faraway park during my breaks. There's just something really relaxing about this place. Oh, well, that's nice. It is nice to go out to park sometimes. There's, there's been days, you know, there's been days that I've had to just uh, head out to a park and hang out for a little bit, clear my mind. Hey, Wiz. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you just caught me by surprise. Yeah, I'm sorry for stabbing you. I have a habit of doing that. Though I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I think I was the one that should have been there for you. I don't know if we'll really ever get over Mary's death, but it's okay to take it slow. To allow yourself to feel every emotion and to have patience. Anyway, I just want you to know that I still care about you and stuff. I've been thinking about this since I saw you, but I think you're looking a little pale. Kind of thin, too. After you move, promise me you'll go outside more often, okay? I don't know if he can promise that, but I promise it for you. I'll make sure he goes out outside. I've been making him go outside this whole time. Hey, it's a coin. Hey, champs. Here's one burger for each of you guys promised. Got four hamburgers, wow. It's been a long time since I've seen all of you hanging out. Reminds me of when you were all still children. <laughs> Wiz, good luck with moving away tomorrow. Remember to visit every now and then. I know Kel is going to be lonely without you. Aw, oh, Dad, stop it. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Here's a lesson from your old man. As you get older, it's going to get harder and harder to make friends. It's so fucking true. So if you think you have a good one, it's important to cherish them. Friends can be for life. You hear me? So fucking true. Alright, hamburgers for everybody. Hamburger for Amori. The hamburger's ingredients blended together flawlessly. All it was missing was cheese. Oh, that's sad. Hamburger's ingredients blended flawlessly. Here's a lesson from your old man. Oh, shit. I hit the button. Uh, let's grab another hamburger. And freshly cooked hamburger right off the grill would be sweet right now. In the picture, it looks like it's got all the fixins. Hamburgers, greens, blended Taylor flawlessly. <clears throat> all right, let's go talk to Basil. It's time. Gotta make it happen. I'm sure there's other secrets and stuff that I'm missing, but that's okay. It's time to get it done. Ooh, a Mori knocked this time. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil is back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no, is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Did you guys try to talk to him? Of course! We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. <clears throat> Alright, this is the moment right here. If we go in, we're missing out on everything that we could possibly see. 
but you know, 